So now we're going to create the slide layers that go with the juggling process screen here. So these are just little quick slide layers that just show some text next to each step button when we hover over the button. So to do this, let's first go and go up to the insert tab and go to slide layer. And then we're going to go over here to the bottom lower corner here. And I'm just going to rename this one. Step one title. And then we can duplicate this and then rename that. And then I'll duplicate that one and rename it. And duplicate that and rename that one. And then I'm just going to move this up here a bit. And then we'll duplicate this one more time. Step five, title. Okay, so now we got our slide layers. Step one, two, three, four, five for the titles. And then we're going to insert our text boxes for each of these layers. So I'm going to start with the first one and I'm going to go to insert a text box here. And then I'm just going to write position. So if you need to refresh your memory, go back to the storyboard. And we can see here that the slide layers, step one title will be position, step two title, one ball, step three title, two balls, four, three balls, step five title, continuous juggling. Now I just chose these because of this example, but if you want to use something else, go ahead. So there we have position. And I'm actually going to, because we want to put these to the left here, I'm going to make this um, align to the right, just so it'll line up a little better, I think. Okay. And then I can just copy that. Go to step two title slide layer. Paste. And then the next one is going to be one ball. And then I'll just move that down. And then copy that. Actually, it's already uh, saved. So we just go to step three. Control V, move that down. And that's two balls. Go to step four, slide layer. Move that down. We call that three balls. And then step five. We'll call that continuous juggling. So this one will be on two lines. I'm just going to make that a little bigger. And just move that up a little bit. Like that. Okay, so let's just go look at those again just to make sure they line up pretty good. Step one, step two. Okay, let's just try that again. One, two. I might move that in a little. So let's go back. Step one, two, three four, 
and 5. So it looks pretty good to me. So now the last step is to go to the juggling process main screen or base layer here. And we have to make sure that when this hover state, so when this button is hovered over, you'll be able to see those text boxes. So we need to create another trigger here for each of the buttons. So go over to the right and we're going to go here. So we'll click on our button. Step one, go to create a new trigger. And we're going to say show layer. Step one, when the user mouse hovers over, so when their mouse hovers over, button one. Okay, so before we do the other ones, let's just go preview that. And I'll just go to the slide we want here. Oh, it worked. So when I hovered over that, we saw slide layer one right there. So we'll just repeat that for each of these buttons. Step two, add a new trigger, show layer. So sometimes it'll come up right away with what you almost need because you just did it in the previous uh, trigger. Step two title, when the user hovers over the button right here. So when the user hovers over the button, it'll show layer step two title. And then step three, add trigger, show layer, step three title, when user uses their mouse to hover over the button. And step four, add trigger, show layer, step four, mouse hovers over, button four. And last, step five, show layer, step five title, mouse hovers over, button five. Okay, so let's just go preview. Let's just preview the slide this time. All right, so when I hover over these, it'll show me the basics of each of the steps. So step one is positioning yourself properly for juggling. Step two, we're going to learn how to throw one ball. Step three, we're going to work with two balls. Step four, three balls. And then step five, we're going to do it continuously. So that's pretty much it for this slide for right now. When we start building the actual uh, step one, two, three, four, five individual slides, we may have to just tweak positioning here, like I said, because there's going to be some text that's going to show up here, but we'll come back to that if we need to.